As promised, in this video, we're gonna code those answer choices. So what we wanna do is start with our first choice A. So I'm gonna click this sprite. And again, it's just one costume. And I'm gonna to go to the script for that sprite. And we don't want this to show up when the game starts. So under events, I'm gonna click when the start game flag is clicked. We want to go and looks. So we want to hide that answer choice. And then under events, when the sprite receives the message start game, which is uh, indicated by the click of the start button, we want to show the answer choice. And again, we're just gonna make sure it places it in the right place. So I'm going to choose forever under control and then in motion, I'm gonna choose go to and the X and Y is already set based on where I dragged this sprite. So I should be good there. And I need to also do that code for answer choice B and for answer choice C. So I'm gonna come in here and click choice B. And again, all we're doing is saying, please hide this when the game starts. So when the flag is clicked, hide. And then we want to tell it when to show up when I receive start game. Oops. We wanna show it. And we're gonna forever go to the X and Y location. I'm choosing motion. And I don't need to change anything for the X, Y, I can leave it there. But again, this just shows, this just tells the sprite when and where to show up. And lastly, we need to do choice C. So go under events. When the flag is clicked, we want to hide the sprite. And when the game, start game, broadcast is received we want to show the sprite and again we want it to show in a particular location so I'm just gonna make sure I grab the correct blocks here to make sure that it shows in the correct location and we're gonna test this game really quickly so now when I test the game notice the answer choices do not show up that's exactly what we want and when I click start, they do show up. So we are all ready to go for our next video. And in that next video, we are going to look at identifying answer choices as correct or incorrect and having the right input be sent to the game based on a correct or incorrect answer choice. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.